prophet C.B. Joshua is a man of God that has played a heavy impact in my spiritual walk with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. A man whom I can testify that through him I have evidence that the love of God truly exists. Through him I have grown so much in character, in ministry, as well as a child of God. I truly honor him and all that he has impacted the body of Christ with. From his early age in ministry to his going into glory. The first time I heard about his teachings, I was moved by the love of God and the power of revelation. What can we say? The instant miracle signs and wonders, the prophetic move, he's the father of this kind of strange and diverse creative miracles. I honor him for his great impact in our generation. When I heard about him going to heaven, I had great peace and joy in my spirit, just like some of you. That was to let you guys know that the will of God it's not the will of man. The ways of, the ways of God are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher. God knows why he allows such things to happen. It's all through the Bible. But it's always for his glory. To my understanding and what I, the Holy Spirit revealed to me is that the God, the Father, welcomed T.B. Joshua to heaven. And he was mighty in this group revelation I had. His reward is like, can you imagine three planet earth like the planet earth three times that's how his reward is <laughs> the man is so rewarded in heaven There's so much celebration in heaven so much jubilation <laughs> it's not time for crying it's time for celebrating celebrating his works the great the works that he did the impact that he played i'm sure many did not agree with him with many things but he played a powerful role of the will of god i saw a revelation of Prophet T.B. Joshua been welcomed to heaven by the Father himself, by God himself. And the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and angels were jubilating. It was such a heavy jubilation. And let me even shock you, even the devil <laughs> honored Prophet T.B. Joshua because he knew that he was a true servant of God. And he walked in the power of the will of God. No one can deny that. T.B. Joshua was welcomed to heaven. So what I really want to speak, a part of me honoring him, and part of the revelation I just spoke to you is that he had the last words he spoke was watch and pray. So I did my research, prayed, and asked the Holy Spirit, please help me to understand what the Spirit of God spoke through him. Watch and pray. And the Spirit of God led me to Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. The Bible said, Watch and pray that you will not fall into temptation. For the Spirit is willing. But the flesh or the body is weak. This happened when the disciples were taken by Jesus. Three disciples, I believe, was Peter, John, and James. They were taken to the mountain. Jesus went to the mountain. He was praying. He said, Watch and pray. He while he was praying, he came down to check on them and they were sleeping. I believe Jesus came like one, two, three times and they continued to sleep. He said, Watch and pray. For your spirit wants to pray, but your body is weak. So what message is a great servant of God, a general in our, in, our, in our time, a great prophet like that could speak? A prophet that's compared to be like Elisha in the Bible could say, watch and pray. And it's right directly from scripture. You know, guys, I don't play with the word of God. When I, I look at things in a different angle. Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke that word directly from the Father himself to show how much God is so concerned about his word. Watch and pray. Jesus Christ spoke this word to the three disciples. They were sleeping while he was praying. He came three times and asked them, you could not keep up with me for one hour. Their flesh was weak, but their spirit was willing. What does that mean? The Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to Prophet T.B. Joshua that the time of temptation is going to be so thick. And this time of temptation, we're talking about deception. That's coming around the world. Matthew 24, the disciples asked Jesus, 
Show us the main sign of your coming. He said, watch out that no man deceive you. What the prophet was trying to say is that we should watch and pray against deception. Watch and pray against the temptation of deception. Do not be deceived. Do not exchange your salvation for deception. That's what the Spirit revealed to me. I love Prophet T.B. Joshua and I still do. And I honor him. I will never speak any bad thing about any servant of God because I love servants of God. Watch and pray. Again, the Holy Spirit took me to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. He said, the end of all things is near. That we should watch and be prayerful and love. Because love covered a multitude of sins. And show hospitality without grumbling. Again, you see, watch and pray. This time is be watchful and prayerful. Why will a great servant of God live out with such two words, watch and pray? That is what we need in the end time. Watch means to be updated with God. Watch means to be vigilant. Watch means to be aware. But the most important watch is walking your salvation with fear and trembling as the Bible says. I'm speaking right from scripture, guys. Right from the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Watch and pray. He watched and pray, and God took him. We also have to be watched and pray so that we cannot miss Jesus' second coming. We need to be watchful. My fellow brothers and sisters, I don't know what you believe in. Whether it's I've heard people talk about pre-rapture, mid-rapture, end rapture, pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation. Whatever you believe, whether you believe in the rapture being caught up or second coming, all that doesn't matter. All that matters is that, are you watchful? Are you ready? The parable of the, of the ten virgins, they all slumbered and slept. But who was ready? All that matters is, are you ready? Let me put it this way. If you want to go on a trip, you cannot go without preparation. Without packing your bags and buying your tickets and buy your, 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 your preparing, you have to prepare yourself. You cannot catch the plane without buying your ticket, without preparing yourself. Guys, trying to understand what I'm trying to say here. The plane, you, 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 you prepare by buying your ticket. If you don't buy a ticket, you cannot enter. Your ticket is your salvation. You have to hold it as the most valuable gift. The parable of the pearl. Wow, you heard that sound? God always knows how to speak to me. You heard the sound? That's the sound of a train. You heard the sound, right? I, I didn't plan that. <laughs> that, that. That is how Jesus said, I'll come like a thief and I'm preaching to you and you hear the sound of a train. To me, I understand what the Bible talks about, the trumpet. The, the angel blew the, the last trumpet. That, that sign right there, God can speak to us to anything. To me, I take that as a trumpet for people to watch and pray. Watch and be ready. John the Baptist says, Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight path for him to travel. Every crooked place will be made straight. Rough path made smooth. You need to be watchful of your salvation. You need to be watchful of the time and season. Guys, there's nothing more important on this earth than your salvation. You have to make it to heaven. You have believed, but you need to keep your salvation and wedding garment clean with the blood of Jesus in righteousness. And you need to keep yourself in a repentive heart. In a broken spirit like David was. You heard the sound. That's a sign. Watch and pray. The Lord comes as a thief at night. A thief doesn't announce. But he has already told you how he's coming. You have to be prepared. You want to catch a plane. You must prepare your ticket. You want to enter heaven. You must make sure that you are watching and praying. Guys this is a direct message. This is what I got from the message of prophet T.B. Joshua. I asked the Holy Spirit to elaborate to me. So may God bless you. I am sure you are blessed by this message. Shalom. Praise God.